Greetings and praise the Lord. We continue with our Bible reading uh, this week uh, and we're looking at Acts chapter 4 uh, up to chapter 9. And this is actually a continuation of the story of Jesus Christ uh, and the work of Jesus Christ, him himself, but also through the apostles by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, there are two things that I want us to focus on as we look at just chapter 4 and 9, though the theme ran through uh, the whole book of Acts. And number one is the power of the Holy Spirit. And number two is the persecution. Uh, and in this, I mean persecution because of Christ, because we also are aware that there are so many situations in our lives that put us in a space of being persecuted. But here we are looking at persecution because of Jesus Christ. Now, the chapter four starts us up with Peter and John being arrested and presented before the Sanhedrin. And they are questioned by who? Whose power are you operating on? And uh, they talk to their Sanhedrin and we see the power of the Holy Spirit giving them number one utterance, but also number two, after they finish with the Sanhedrin and have, uh, have been given the threats, they go back to their own, uh, the community of believers, and we see them united in prayer. And this kind of unity is not just a unity that comes out of uh, 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 nowhere, but we see the Holy Spirit working in them and united uniting them in prayer, but also number three is in the commonality of how they operated. Uh, the Bible records that they were one in soul, uh, one heart, and they shared everything in common. And this is the picture that Jesus is trying to paint as he spoke to the disciples uh, and, 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 and as we saw him ministering and having conversations with the Pharisees, he was trying to challenge uh, the kind of a community that was around the Pharisees that they were not together, they were not one. And so Jesus speaks and says to the, to the disciples that when the helper come, he will come and help you, you know, and teach you all the things uh, and bring you to remembrance uh, of all the things that I've said to you. And he says that in John chapter 16, verse 20, 26. And so the Holy Spirit is at work in the, in the, in the, in the early church. But also number two, we see how the Holy Spirit gives them boldness to continue to minister in the midst of persecution. And we see that, uh, that, that our, the, our first martyr is Stephen who faces persecution for doing that which was right uh, before God. But also this persecution gives birth uh, to many souls being converted, including that of the chief persecutor, uh, Saul. Uh, one of our early church fathers, Tertullian, says that the blood of the martyr is the seed of the church. And we see this play part as the church moved from Jerusalem to Samaria. So as we continue with the book of Acts, we continue to experience the work of God, the signs and wonders, the miracles of healing. And I pray that this will not be said of the church in Acts, but it will be said of Nairobi Baptist Church and the believers in Nairobi Baptist Church, that we will experience the work of the Holy Spirit in your home, in the midst of suffering and persecution. Thank you so much and God bless.